This is my response video to Ruthie's prompt for this week, which talked about um, choosing one subject and using an interdisciplinary approach to tie uh, music into that subject. So the first thing I did was kind of read over the article, and um, I thought the most important thing was um, the section where it talked about how integration in um, general school subjects of music give students um, another way to communicate. So that's a good um, reason to incorporate music and integrate it. And it's also different from the norm. Like it's gonna engage students because it's something that they're probably not used to doing in the general ed classroom. I know in my um, classrooms throughout elementary school, we really didn't do a lot with music. That was just like specific specifically for um, a music class. So yeah, I think that integration is definitely something um, we should keep in mind as future teachers to include in our classroom. And it's something we've talked about a lot throughout our vlogs. Um, I went over everyone's video and they each of the videos had a lot of really good ideas on how to incorporate um, music into general subjects. So I liked how Adrienne used language arts and she talked about things that she had actually done. So like making the playlist about the book she read and creating the jingle for an advertisement. And then how Jordan talked about language arts and memorization, as well as um, science and math ideas. So um, for my subject, I chose to do math. And I began by thinking about my experiences with music and math, which I couldn't really think of a lot. Um, the only thing I really remember doing is in third grade when we learned our multiplication facts, instead of memorizing like the tables, like two times two is four and like going through each of them, um, I actually learned all of my multiplication facts by songs. So um, each number had a specific tune and then we just sang the facts to that tune. So that was a really useful way and it made me learn my facts really easy and till this day I still often have to sing the songs when I'm asked a multiple or a multiplication question. And then I kind of did some research to see how you could use music and math um, in other ways. So something that I didn't really think about is that you can use m music to teach patterns in math. Um, pattern patterns are probably going to be something you see more in the primary grades, but you could definitely use like the TAS and TTs that we did in class um, to help students understand what a pattern is. And then um, I also read about using music to teach comparisons because that's a major math concept. So you could use um, you could play different pieces of music and have students compare like loud soft dynamics or the beats how they're fast or slow and then maybe even like the notes are they short notes or are they long notes so that would be another way to sneak in music during math time um and then my last thing that I kind of thought about was using um was kind of focusing on history so you could use timelines um about musical like periods of music um, to teach how to use a timeline so that would be um, a good way to include music and history. So yeah like after um, watching everyone's videos and kind of reading the article on my own I realized like it's not impossible to integrate music into your classroom and it's definitely um, something that I'm going to consider when I'm writing my lesson plans in the future so yeah.